Good afternoon. My name is Lori. Welcome to my channel. We are quilters. I am filming very quickly this afternoon. The sun is finally coming out just in time to cook up some more thunderstorms between my husband running chainsaw and working on firewood because this house, even though it is a nice little cabin built in 1955, it is not very soundproof with the single pane glass windows. So if he starts up the chainsaw, you will immediately hear it in the background. And I promised I would go out and help him process some firewood when I was done making this video. So you'll be hearing a lot about that for the next uh, month, month and a half. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Anyway. I have some interesting things to blab about today. I'm going to start with these little beauty kits that I picked up at a yard sale. Each kit only cost me a dollar. Now I realize that these were put out in the 70s or 80s and they are not the most high quality fabric. I'm pretty sure that I can spice them up a little bit by using colorful background fabric and some nice sashing and cornerstones. The first one is a flower block. All the pieces are supposed to be in there and I am going to do a either a raw edge applique or a zigzag stitch over the edges. I'm gonna come I'm gonna see what I can do for a background. I hear the turkey out there. Do you hear it? Crazy and and I hear Dan out there making noises at the turkey so he puffs himself all up. Crazy bird. Crazy husband too. Anyway, the first one is the nice flower and I did take some notes on the back. I'll show you a close up. I'm gonna pick it up so I can read. It should make an 82 by 97 quilt based on the little pattern on the back that they show. And these came from uh, Kings Mountain, North Carolina. So they've traveled around quite a bit and they still are sealed in the original plastic. I'm going to fix that and take them out. The next one is a grandmother's flower garden a hexagon applique style, it says. And it also is from North Carolina, still sealed in the plastic, and it should have at least 294 pieces, it says, to make into a quilt. Hang on, Megan needs to bark at the turkey. Yes, there he is, hijacking my show. Oh. Nugget finally quit barking. He barked himself thirsty and had to go get a drink. Anyway. Back to the, the quilt. It, the hexagon one, looks like it will come out to about 72 by 84. That's without any sashings added to it. So both good size donation quilts. Not the most modern fabric on the planet, but still something to keep someone warm. And I will embellish those hexagons so they are cuter and not so plain looking. So those were my big finds over the weekend, a dollar a piece. And they were marked $9.99 back in the 70s or 80s. So they would have been a, a fairly pricey little thing way back when, but still all sealed up in their plastic. And even though the plastic was a little dusty and dirty before I cleaned it off to take pictures, the fabric inside looks just fine. So my next topic, you guys are finally sending me pictures so I can share. Marion sent a picture of a purple swirl quilt. She said it made her thirsty for grape juice. And in my reply, I said that I love the flower block in the center. And it reminded me of, the, since she said about grape juice, it reminded me of the grapes and the grape juice my grandparents used to can. They made grape juice concentrate and then 
they would make it into a gallon. That quart of grape juice concentrate would make up into a gallon, or sometimes my grandmother would add tons of sugar and pectin and make it into grape jelly for us to all enjoy. So her purple swirly quilt, or it reminded me of something, like some of those NASA pictures of the cosmos. And it reminded me of that. Nugget is right here beside my shoulder, pacing back and forth on the sofa, ever alert and ready to warn me of danger. He keeps making little noises. I'm sure you can hear them. His little oomph oomph noises. But he is quite the guard dog. So thank you, Marion, for sending pictures of your quilt guild quilt for me to share. And now I'm going to move on to the wet. The weather blocks for March are finally, <laughs> they are finally finished. You can see the last five here behind me and the rest are here in the box. For next Friday, my goal will be to have those all put together and then joined with January and February so that I can share one fourth of that monstrous weather quilt for the year. I have been still working on coloring the April blocks. Here you can see my color key and the last of the block coloring blocks so that I can use my tally sheet to see which pieces I need to cut. I have been cutting the triangle pieces with and the leg pieces, I'm going to call them leg pieces, with the AccuQuilt dies. And I do not have my AccuQuilt cutter here. So we are making a quick run home. And I will be cutting those pieces. So I need to know which color pieces to cut while I'm there. So it's only for the West Virginia blocks that I need to cut those, those legs and triangles. I also have a way to do it if we're not at home with templates, but I prefer just to cut them with the AccuQuilt cutter. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be started on the April, making piece, cutting and piecing the April blocks after I return to Michigan. I also, Shocker of shockers, I got the center purple flower applique onto my wall hanging. And now it is ready to do the sample or the practice quilting. So I have the plastic sheet stuff here ready to practice what my quilt design will be. I used that handkerchief for my color inspiration. I am going to use that for the label on the back. I think it was one of my grandmother's handkerchiefs. I don't, generally don't use the handkerchiefs as a real handkerchief. So I'm going to use my embroidery machine and put the label information in the middle and sew it on the back of my little wall hanging. I also to do embellishments. Maybe next week we will work on those things either on a Friday or a Saturday show because, ooh, I have tons of embellishment stuff here. And we're not just talking embroidery floss. We're talking some serious blingy thingies. So I think that will be lots of fun. On Monday this week, I did a little blurb on inlay applique. I said, I probably, oh, I'll probably never do that myself. And then I had those samples. And as I was looking at those samples, I'm thinking, oh, oh I am going to do those. And Marion asked me, was I going to put that snowflake block in the set? Yes, I am, Marion. And here are some pictures of what I have laid out. And so I'm going to finish those off. And I'm going to make sure that I have some lace. I'm going to make myself some mug rugs because I don't have anything like that here. And I have hard coasters, but I don't have any soft fabric coasters. And it 
in West Virginia. I use those all the time, and I love them. I've washed them almost to death. So I'm going to make some cathedral window coasters. Speaking of cathedral windows, I had a couple, a few ladies who you responded or commented and sent me some pictures, and I'm going to share your pictures. Your work is fantastic. So I am going to share some pictures right here. Anne sent a picture, a couple pictures of her denim cathedral quilt. She says it takes a 10 inch diameter circle and then the colored center is a four and a half inch square. She folded it over and it looks machine pieced. That is a fantastic idea. I've seen other things made that way, but not with denim. I love that pattern. That gives me ideas. I've been collecting denim for a while. I have a whole tote of different colored denim just for that, just for some purpose. So very nice work, Anne. I can't imagine that that big quilt must have a nice weight to it. People pay lots of money for weighted blankets, and you have yourself a beautiful weighted denim cathedral window quilt. Thank you so much for sharing. The other example was sent by Linda. She said her mom took 30 years to make this beautiful quilt. It's made from muslin and scraps from all kinds of pieces of clothes that her mother made for her. She is the keeper of this fantastic and beautiful cathedral window quilt. This is a treasure. It is so nice that you recognize the treasure you possess, Linda. Thank you for sharing that quilt picture. That wraps it up for today. It is time for me to go play with firewood with my husband. <laughs> anyway, no good deed goes unpunished. I will either see you tomorrow or I will see you on Monday for more applique. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to help my channel grow.